Yo guys, how's it going? We are back again for another video and today we're going to be playing some Minecraft and I'm going to be showing you how to build the best auto tree farm in Minecraft. It's really effective because obviously getting logs is so annoying in Minecraft but this will teach you how to do it basically for free so you, you won't need to gather logs again which is really good so let's get into it. Okay, so just grab what you can see in my inventory for now. So all you're going to need stone, or like any building block basically. Place that right there, like that. And then place a trap door directly on top of it. And now place two blocks of cobblestone, like that, next to your building block. And now just grab a dirt block and place that on top of the cobblestone. You can now get rid of this. And now grab an observer. And now once you've got your observer, just place it right here. So the red thing has to be facing up like this towards us, so you can see. And then place another observer underneath it like that. So obviously it can be a little bit annoying and fiddly to get done, but... You can always just go like that. And you can see the arrows there are like pointing up towards us, if that makes any sense. So that one goes up, that one goes down. And you can see the red thing is there. And you'll also see that the top one is now inputting the redstone signal. So it's like flashing. That means you've done it right, basically. Okay, now once you've done that, just place two temporary blocks like that. And now grab a decay pea stone. Break this block and place your piston here. There we go. So you can see everything's like this so far. And now break this block. So you can see this piston is faced towards this observer here. And now replace that block you've just broken with your normal building block. So mine is stone brick. And now we're going to need to grab a old lever and then come around the side of this block here and place it there. This lever turns on and off the machine like that so you can see it stops the redstone pulse and then it will turn it back on again. And now grab a dispenser and place it here on top of this block. Well not this block but this observer and it's facing this grass block. And now grab a hopper and place it behind the dispenser, so like that. I need to go back a bit. So like that, there we go. So it should be pretty much parallel to this lever. And now just grab a slab, and you're gonna place this opposite the dispenser, so right there. So it's pretty much like this, next to this grass block. Okay, and now grab a comparator and place it right there on this block. And now we need to place a permanent block there like that, a temporary block underneath it, and then come around this side to where your trap door is and place your slab there and break that temporary block so it should look like this you got a little like stairway going up to where your comparator is everything like that and now come out two blocks with the slab and then four blocks across with it one two three and four and then two blocks down from this way so oh, two there we go so you can see so far it's looking like this make sure you got it the same and then we want to extend this one out another two so there we go Oh, there. Oh, for God's sake. There. Oh my God. There we go. And I'll just make a little platform. So like this. So just... But you don't actually need it to be this big. You can get rid of this. The last three. So you only really need a two, like, wide gap. So like that. And now come from your piston out to so one two and then place one comparator there and then another one there and then on this side place one facing that way so it should be looking like this so far your little platform and now place another one there so two comparators each side facing that way and now just grab some redstone dust and connect up your comparators like this so there we go and just feed your redstone dust all the way to there and you can see this is turned on now <laughs> like me with your mom <laughs> and now just connect it up this way as well and lead it all the way around to this one. And now grab a repeater, and on this block here, we're gonna break it and place in a repeater like this. And then we're also gonna break this one and place a repeater there. And now come to your grass block and build up eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But on the eighth one, you wanna place your building block. So there we go. Oh, I've actually got infested stone bricks. <laughs> Not the only infested thing around. No, that is disgusting. And now just get rid of all the temporary ones. And now just grab a lot of bone meal and fill up the dispenser and pop with it. So literally just that. And then also your hopper, you can see it's feeding in there. And there we go. 
So everything is now full with bow meal news. There we go, fill that. Okay, so now just grab your axe. And you're going to need to place in a sapling, so just grab a, any sapling that you want. I'm just going to grab an oak one. And obviously place it down, turn on your machine. And you can see there we go, it's, it's all started to go. All the bow mills building up, you literally just destroy. Oh, I just, I forgot I'm not in survival. Oh, fuck, I've broken it. Ah! <laughs> Let me fix it. Also, just something to note, I just remembered while I'm editing, the comparator means that when the tree grows, the bow mill will not keep going, so you won't waste any bow mill, so you'll only have to use like a bit, you won't need as much as I put in. It'll only be like a tiny bit that you'll have to use, so just keep that in mind. Okay, so just stand on your trapdoor, place in your hat line, turn on the machine, and bam, you can see all your stuff will start to come out, there we go. And now literally just mine away. Mining away. I don't know what to mine, I'll mine it anyway. And then obviously if you just hold your tree in your off hand, well not tree but sapling, and then just do this. There we go. There we go, just you're obviously gonna need a lot of sapling, so if you and Joe, once you place down your sapling, obviously just oh, let me press Q. Huh. After my sword in my last video. If you haven't seen that, go check that out, that was actually really upset. But yeah, just literally let it grow. And then once you place down your wood, it'll all just grow really quickly. It's, it's really effective. And obviously you're just gonna need to wait till you can get some sapling. So it is semi-automatic, but it's pretty effective to be fair, like the way it grows and stuff. So if you'd enjoy it, obviously drop a like, subscribe, because I put loads of effort into my last video and it's not actually done too well so far, but it's not done too bad. But yeah, if you did enjoy, drop a like, subscribe. It's a really, it's, it's not overly effective, but it works relatively well. It's this, this tree farm. So obviously not completely AFK, but it's semi-automatic. You still have to put some work in, but it's the best at the moment. And if you did enjoy, then obviously drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.